William Whalen here for GetMoreSports.com. Good to be with you. And we are talking this morning about some of the best coaching jobs done across the country in college basketball. Now, this is not a list about who will win the National Coach of the Year awards. That is all but likely decided, in my opinion, going to either John Calipari if his team goes undefeated or Tony Bennett at Virginia if they do not. But what I'm talking about here is just some maybe of the more under-the-radar coaching jobs this year and I want to start out west at Oregon State Corvallis Oregon with Wayne Tinkle in his first year leading the Beavers filling in for Craig Robinson uh, who of course was fired uh, Wayne Tinkle comes over from Montana and really a well-respected coach in coaching circles uh, but nobody was really sure what he was walking into because Oregon State was considered one of the worst teams in the country, not just in the Pac-12. People were wondering how they were going to win conference games. Uh, of course, but the Beavers have vastly, vastly surpassed expectations. Playing very well at home in Corvallis. have only lost one game there on the year, and that was to Utah in a game that they competed. Uh, of course, they did knock off Arizona uh, at home. So this was a team and a coaching job that I was very, very impressed with. He's got a big-time recruiting class coming in. Things are looking up in Corvallis for sure. Then I want to run to the Big 12, where Bob Huggins has taken this West Virginia group from a team that many thought would finish near the bottom of the Big 12 uh, to competing right there for second place in conference uh, and a top 20 ranking in the country, looking at probably a top six seed in the NCAA tournament in one of the toughest conferences in the country, uh, at one of the hardest places to recruit for basketball in the country in terms of high school guys. Uh, that is definitely something to consider when you are trying to recruit against the likes of Tech Texas, Kansas, Iowa State, uh, th there's definitely going to be a curve that you have to catch up to. Uh, and he has done a tremendous job there at West Virginia. And obviously this year, Juwan Staten has certainly helped getting him through uh, unconventional means in terms of not just recruiting high school guys. Bob Huggins has done a fantastic job. Uh, another name that I really want to talk about is Jay Wright at Villanova. Uh, Jay Wright, I, again, year after year, I feel like we're not talking about Coach Wright in, in terms of some of the best coaches in the country, and I feel like we need to be. He is taking he has taken this team th that really lacks a, a star, uh, real star power for a top five team. Villanova doesn't have it. And yet Jay Wright has molded this team in, into a lethal force, uh, specifically at guard. And, and I'm really impressed with the, what the Wildcats have done year after year. As I've, I've said it many times here, uh, Jay Wright does this. And, and it's time that we start giving him truly his due uh, because this is probably a top three coaching performance in the country this year. Uh, another one of those top ones, of course, would be Tony Bennett at Virginia. Uh, keeping this team together as injuries have unfolded to Anderson, London Perantes, uh, this is a team that is still to be reckoned with come March, uh, especially once they get Anderson back, uh, either in the ACC tournament or after the ACC tournament. Definitely going to be a team to watch uh, going into the Final Four run. Uh, but Virginia really, it's quite incredible. Uh, what Tony Bennett has done. Recruiting to Virginia, kind of like West Virginia, is, is very tough. Uh, not only because you're going, you're trying to get kind of Washington, D.C., Baltimore kids, but they're being recruited by Maryland and Georgetown, not to mention North Carolina, Duke, the top ones at least. Uh, so Virginia is in a spot where they can't just handpick anybody they want, and yet year after year they're extremely, extremely competitive. Uh, so Tony Bennett definitely turning in another fantastic coaching job there with his pack line defense. And I know what you're thinking. Here I go with Maryland, but Mark Turgeon, uh, what can you say? I mean, Melo Trimble was not a consensus five-star recruit or anything coming out of high school, and yet he's turned into one of the better freshman guards uh, and one of the better guards, regardless of class, in the country. He has molded this uh, Maryland team from really a cast of misfits just a few years ago. A couple guys had to be put out of the program to really get the right cast of characters in there. Uh, and now Turgeon has his team. They play his style of basketball, and they're a top-15 team in the country, uh, of course, led by Trimble and Des Wells, his running mate. I, I'm extremely impressed with the job that Turgeon has done over there this year. The excitement is back in College Park, Maryland, and you could tell when they hosted Wisconsin the other night, the energy, the enthusiasm, the belief in Maryland basketball that had been there for so long with Gary Williams in the early 2000s, culminating, of course, with a national title. Uh, that is starting to feel like it is back. Uh, of course, momentum with all these coaches and with all these programs have to be carried from one season to the next, but nonetheless, this year... Those are five of my top 
NCAA basketball coaching performances of the year.